Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Regular viewers of our YouTube channel are probably familiar with CJ Pony 1, the 1968 Mustang Coupe parked behind me. This was the first Mustang purchased by the owner at CJ's over 30 years ago and was last restored somewhere around 1999. Recently, this car has been getting a lot more road use, so we decided to do some general maintenance to it along with a few upgrades along the way. One area we've been meaning to work on is the factory power steering, particularly the control valve. The existing control valve is starting to leak and also has a lot of play in it. We did recently do a video showing you how to rebuild an original control valve, but since the original is long gone, in our case we're going to replace it with this brand new control valve that will fit your 1968 through 1970 Mustang. The control valve is an important part of your power steering system because it controls the fluid transfer between your power steering pump and the slave cylinder. If this goes bad or develops play, your steering is going to suffer as a result. This is a brand new replacement control valve that will fit all 1968 through 1970 Mustangs using a factory power steering system. It will require a few pieces from the original which we'll show you during the installation. For this installation, we need a lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 3 quarter socket, 7 16 wrench, 2 half inch wrenches, 5 8 wrench, cutting pliers, hammer, pickle fork, punch, flashlight, and a measuring tape. So we're going to start the installation by removing the wheel and getting the car off the ground. Next thing we're going to do is remove the cotter pin and the castle nut that holds our control valve to our pitman arm. Then we're going to remove the nut. We're going to separate the control valve from the pitman arm. Next, we'll move on to the retaining sleeve. Three pieces of hardware we removed so far, the three pieces you'll actually need for your new control valve the castle nut cotter pin, and the retaining nut and bolt. With the nut and bolt out, now we've got to remove this roll pin. Basically, this is a retainer allowing the control valve so it won't spin when it's installed. Before we remove it, the last thing we're going to do is disconnect all the lines. The two power steering hoses up here and the two slave cylinder control valve lines down here. make things a little less messy, I'm going to take one of the plugs now from our new control valve. We'll plug that hole there, that way fluid's not dripping while we get to the next fitting. Same thing again, plug in, make it a little bit cleaner. Now we're going to do the power steering line. Before you unthread the control valve, you want to mark its location so the new one goes on the same spot. I recommend doing it. I'm actually going to make a mark with paint here so I know how far threaded on it was. I'm also going to take a measurement so I've double checked. I'm going to measure from the grease fitting of the inner tie rod out, which is nice and easy because it's exactly an inch and a half to my control valve. I remove it, I'm just going to thread it off. Now we'll put our new control valve up into place, thread it on. We think we got it lined up, our paint mark looks right, check our measurement, An inch and a half, we're good. As soon as we went to connect our first power steering hose, we saw an obvious issue. The fitting from our hose is way too small for our control valve. What this means is actually not a problem. This control valve is designed for a 68 through 70, but it'll also fit a 67 when you use an adapter. Basically, this line is the smaller line used in a 67, so all we need is the adapter, which is available here at CJ Pony Parts. We'll thread the adapter in first and thread the line into the adapter. If you order the 67 control valve that we sell, what you'll basically get is this 68 through 70. This happens to include this fitting, but the fitting is available separately. Oof. We 
to move on to the control valve slave cylinder hoses. Now we'll put the control valve up into our pitman arm. Make sure you can tighten the castle nut down, you line it up properly with the holes so we can put the cotter pin back in. Now we're going to reinstall the pin, you're going to line it up and tap it into place. Once everything's tight, top off the fluid on your power steering pump and your insulation's finished. We want to use only Type F ATF in this system. Before we test it, you want to grease the control valve. Okay, now you want to start the car and do a couple cycles of full lock left to right. Make sure everything's working properly. Put the fluid through the system and then double check the fluid at the pump. Power steering control valve is an integral part of your power steering system, so if it has issues like ours, then it's a good idea to replace it before it wears out other components on the power steering system. This station is pretty straightforward, it's a bit messy, but I figure it's going to take you about an hour or two start to finish, we'll be back on the road in no time.